This video is intended for educational and informational purposes only. The following content does not necessarily reflect or represent the views and opinions of the channel's broadcaster. Proprietors of this channel are not liable for reproduction or imitation of the following material. Portions of the materials used are trademarks and or copyrighted works of Take-Two Interactive. All rights reserved by Take-Two Interactive. This material is not official and is not endorsed by Take-Two Interactive. <laughs> Yo, what's good fam? Welcome back. As always, I appreciate you clicking on the video. Hopefully everybody's having an amazing day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the new frozen money glitch. Now, this is an old method, but it got unpatched with the update. So I recommend grinding this out as fast as you can. Share it with your friends. Be sure that everybody gets a hold to this before it gets patched because this is going to get patched pretty quickly, I'm assuming. I would be surprised if it doesn't get patched by, if not before, Thursday. So hop on it as quick as you can. I tried to get this out as soon as possible. I started a live stream earlier, but my Wi-Fi was being crap. So I uh, hopped on here, found this glitch for you, and we're going to put this out there so you guys can stack up on some Deluxos, get some free, easy money to buy the stuff for the new update. The update was, I don't know, kind of trash in my opinion, but, you know, that's just my opinion. So uh, a few things you're going to need for this is... You're going to want to be in a free aim lobby because we're going to be joining a friend in a different targeting mode. So this will be easier if you're in a free aim lobby. Also, you're going to need the modded save and save wizard. I'll have the modded save linked in the description. If you don't know what save wizard is, you don't have it, just Google save wizard. Uh, it's about 60 US dollars. So uh, it's definitely worth the investment because, you know, you can make 10 times the amount of money you would make buying a shark card just buying everything for free. So... Uh, like I said, you will need the modded save. Again, it will be linked in the description. You also, like I said, want to be in a free aim lobby. You need to have save wizard. And I also recommend before you start the glitch, go ahead and load online. Go outside anywhere and set your spawn location to last location and then change outfits to force a save because when I first did this I was spawning inside the arcade and the penthouse and it was giving me a little bit of trouble it kept giving me an error when I'd load back online so I recommend setting your spawn location to last location and being outside somewhere and just be sure you force a save once you've done that close your app and then we'll hop right into the start of the glitch from there now to start off we want to insert a USB drive into our PS4 we're going to go to the settings tab and scroll down here to application save data management and we're going to select this then we're going to select saved data in system storage it's going to bring up this next page we're going to select copy to usb storage device now once we select this we're going to select grand theft auto 5 and then we're going to look in here for a save that doesn't say backup or auto save we want just a regular save and try to write down the name of it and the percentage so you remember which save you're using if you have multiple saves in story mode. So select this save and then select copy and that'll copy it to your USB flash drive. Now once you've done that, you can simply eject the USB and you're going to insert it into your PC or laptop. So here I am on my laptop. I've already downloaded the modded save here. It's in the description. You're going to go ahead and open up Save Wizard. You're going to select OK here gonna let this open up now once it opens we're gonna click double click this little play button here next to Grand Theft Auto we're gonna right click and select advanced mode we'll give this just a second to load up here now once this loads up we're gonna go up here to the top right and select import file now this is where we're going to select the modded save that we downloaded. Mine's right here. It's the same one that's here on my desktop. I'm going to select this file and select open. Now we're going to press zero on our keyboard. Nothing's going to happen. That's fine. Simply click apply and select yes. Now we're going to give this just a minute. Now what it's doing here is it is copying the modded save and it's overriding it onto your save that you brought from the PS4. So we're going to give this just a minute here. Once this is done, select OK. Now we can close out a save wizard, and then we can eject our USB. 
Now we're gonna put the USB back into our PS4 and we're gonna kind of repeat the same steps here. We're gonna go to settings, application save data management, scroll down to saved data on USB storage device this time. We're gonna select copy to system storage. We're gonna select Grand Theft Auto right here. And then when the next screen pops up, we're gonna select that save that we just loaded onto the USB and select copy. Now all that's doing is that's overriding one of our PS4 saves from story mode with the modded save that you downloaded. Like I said, it's linked in the description. Now what we're gonna do from there is we're simply gonna load up GTA and we're gonna load into story mode. Now if you load in like this, this is not the modded save. You load it in on a different save. So what you wanna do here is just pause your game, go ahead over to the settings tab and we're gonna change the auto save to off. I find out this makes it a little easier. So just turn auto save off and then we're gonna load up the modded save. So go over to game, load game, and then select whichever save you used. I use this one here, select this save and we're gonna load this game because this is our modded save. This is how we wanna load in is by the impound. So we're gonna select this and accept the alert. Now we're gonna wait to load into story mode. Now we should load in just like this at the impound. If you're loading in somewhere other than this, then you're loading in on the wrong save. You need to be sure you're loading the right save. Also be sure you're turning auto save off. Now, once we're loaded in here, all we have to do from here is simply pause our game and then we're gonna start up an invite only session. So online, play GTA online and invite only session. Now we're gonna load in online. All we have to do from here is leave GTA online. So select the online tab and leave GTA, accept the alert. We're gonna load back into story mode just like this as Patricia and then we're gonna turn into Franklin. What you wanna do is just run away from the area you started in there. If you start in the water, you're gonna have to go to the land and do this step. So just swim over to the land and then you'll run away from Patricia and run back to her. Once you get back to her here, we're simply gonna hold down on the D-pad and then we're gonna select Michael from story mode and that's gonna turn us into Patricia. Now, once we're here, all we need to do from here is spawn a buzzard. Um, I'll leave a link in the description or I'll leave the cheat code in the description to spawn a buzzard. Just input that code. You wanna spawn a buzzard and you're gonna fly to the top of Mount Chiliad to a specific location where the peyote spawns. Now I'll show you the location here on the map as soon as I get there. Just take the buzzard, fly up here, you're gonna hop out, you're gonna walk over and eat the peyote. This is the location you're going to. It's right at the top of Mount Chiliad, right off the trail here. Um, it's the post with the little red flags on it, so they're pretty easy to spot. You see the flags on them there. The peyote is just to the right of the rocks. So you're gonna walk over here with Patricia to the peyote, and you're gonna press right on the D-pad to eat the peyote. Now you're gonna go into the hallucination, and you're gonna turn into some kind of bird here. So Patricia starts tripping out, she turns into the bird. Now once you're the bird, you don't have to stay in the hallucination for any extended amount of time. Simply hold right on the D-pad to end the hallucination. And then you're gonna get stuck on this screen right here. This is perfect, this is exactly what you want. From this screen, all you have to do is pause your game and then we're gonna start up an invite only session again. So pause, online, play GTA online, invite only session. Select OK, and then we're gonna load back into online. Now at this point, we should have frozen money. The way you can check this is simply open up your interactions menu, go down to inventory, and then try to buy some ammo and watch your money. Watch my money on the right, you'll see it doesn't move. I just bought SMG ammo, it didn't take any money from me, I buy some more ammo. Make sure your money's frozen before proceeding. The easiest way to do that is to simply buy some ammo. If all your ammo's full, just use a little bit of it, try to buy some more to confirm that your money is frozen. Now from here, we can buy whatever we want. Now, the catch here is that you have to have enough money to cover the initial purchase. You're not gonna lose the money, but if you don't have enough, it's not gonna let you make the purchase anyways. So you see in my bank, I have about 6 million, so I have enough to cover the Deluxo. Now I'm not gonna lose the 3.5, but you do need to have it up front in order to buy stuff. So you'll see here, I'm gonna buy it, I think I send it to my arcade. I had a hard time finding any empty slots. I think I originally just, or I ended up just overriding some cars. So right here, all you want to do is just keep buying Deluxos. Fill up 
All the garages you want to with Deluxos shouldn't cost you a dime as long as you have the money to cover it up front. So fill all your garages that you want to up with Deluxos and then wait until all of them have been delivered. You see the little alert there on the left? Wait till you get this alert for the last one that you've bought so that they have all been delivered. Now once they've all been delivered, all you have to do is leave GTA Online and accept the alert. Now here we want to try to replicate what we just did in story mode where Patricia spawns behind us. I couldn't get it to work for me, but the glitch still worked, so don't sweat it if this happens to you. All we're going to do from here once we load into story mode is we're going to select Michael, just like we did last time. So hold down your D-pad, scroll over, select Michael, and then you should spawn in as Patricia. Now once you spawn in as Patricia, all you need to do is to kill yourself somehow. So the easiest way to do that is just to do the wanted level cheat. I'll leave that in the description as well. And then just wait for the cops to kill you. You'll see here I did the cheat till I got six stars and then the cops killed me, I get the wasted. Now right here, we wanna join a friend in a different targeting mode because you're more than likely gonna get stuck on a black screen. If you spawn back in, that's fine. If not, we need to join a friend in a different targeting mode. So simply go out to your dashboard, look underneath GTA, find any friend playing GTA, and select join session on that friend. Now we're looking for the targeting mode alert here. You should get this alert. Decline it with circle. If you don't get that alert, you need to join someone else until you get the targeting mode alert so you can decline it. Now once we spawn back in here as Patricia, what we're going to do is simply pause your game. We're going to go to online and we're going to start up another invite only session. Now we're going to load into online and this is how we're going to save the cars. This step's very crucial to save the vehicles. The way you do it is you move them around in your garage via the garage management. If you've ever done any frozen money, you already know how to do this, but I'm going to walk you through it anyways. You simply are going to move the vehicles around inside the garage. So you'll see here I'm um, inside my arcade. This is the only garage I bought cars in. If you bought cars in 10 garages, you're going to have to repeat these steps in every garage to make the cars safe. So we're going to go over here to the blue circle and then we're simply going to move the cars around. We're going to move every one of them around at least one time. So I like to take the first car and then just scroll it through the whole garage. Now you may have all deluxos here. That's fine. I don't, but I'm going to do the same steps. We just take one car and move it all the way through the whole garage back to its original space. So you'll see here I've moved it all the way around back to its original space. Now the car is saved. You're good. Uh, you're not going to lose the vehicle. I like to change outfits here just to make sure I force a save because I'm going to close app and show you me loading back in selling one of the cars. So be sure if you're closing app immediately after you do this that you do force a save. And also remember you have to do this in every garage that you buy cars in. So if you buy cars in 10 garages, then you're going to have to do this step 10 different times in each garage. So go to all your garages, move the cars around. Be sure you change outfits if you're immediately closing app. If you're not, you know, you'll get a save, but I recommend changing outfits just to be sure you get a save. So this is me after I've closed my app. I've closed app, reloaded it. You see my cars are still here. They've been saved. I'm going to take one down to the Los Santos Customs here, and I'm going to sell it. I believe you get a little bit over $2 million. I think it's, uh, let me see here, it's like $2.2, $2.3 million. So they sell for a little more than the Izzy's, uh, $2.1 million. So there it is. Sell the vehicle. Boom, we get the cash. Easy money. So super simple glitch. Like I said, it only takes 10 minutes to hit it. And once you've hit it once, you can deck out all your garages with Deluxos. And you'll make mad money off of this. So very easy glitch. Like I said, hop on it as soon as you can. It will get patched very soon. Wouldn't surprise me if it gets patched tomorrow. So do it as quickly as you can. Share it with your friends so everybody can make money off this before it gets patched. You definitely want to do it before Thursday. Because if it doesn't get patched tomorrow, it will damn sure be patched on Thursday so this guy tried to creep up on me while I was in my phone but I got the best of him there so <laughs> but anyways if you enjoyed the video drop me a like it would be greatly appreciated also subscribe if you're new to the channel so you don't miss any future uploads and I will catch you guys in the next one later